Good morning. It's day seven for me back on the PCT. Uh, it's just after seven and I'm leaving my campsite for the day. Um, I woke up around half past five this morning and it was just starting to rain really lightly but I uh, shut the tent door and just lay there and waited for it to stop. So a little bit later start than the last couple of days but I'm in no hurry so it doesn't really matter. I just read my book for a little bit. Uh, this vegetation I'm walking through is a bit wet which isn't very much fun though. I spent a long time massaging that sore spot on my leg last night and this morning it feels really good so it's really encouraging. Uh, not entirely certain where I'm going. Uh, probably about 22 or 23 miles today. Um, there looks like there's going to be it looks like there's going to be another good swimming lake uh, today, so I'll take some time to go there. But other than that, I'll just kind of find a spot uh, somewhere beyond there to camp again tonight. So it's just after 11 a.m. Um, and I've walked a little over 10 miles. I've walked 16 and a half k's. I've just got to Mica Lake, which is an absolutely beautiful looking lake. So I'm going to stop here for a lunch break. I've got my tent out to dry out in the sun after this morning's rain. Um, and I'm going to have a quick swim and then just lie in the sun and enjoy some time chilling out uh, for the next hour or so before heading on this afternoon. So it's just gone 12 30. Um, I spent an hour and a half at the lake, had a swim, uh, dried out my tent, washed off my clothes, chatted to a bunch of people who arrived and now I'm on my way again. I'm heading I think all the way down into this valley and then there's some switchbacks going back up the other side so I think I just have to go straight back up the other side. Um, but I feel really good, I feel clean. I feel like I smell slightly better than I did before. Um, I have put on some sunscreen because the sun has been very bright and hot and I do not have a sun hat. Um, but other than that, I just keep plodding along. Um, thinking I'll probably do another 12 miles or something this afternoon, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, just see what I can find as a place to go set up camp tonight.
it's just gone five o'clock and I've reached a campsite called Dolly Vista Campsite. Um, I've only gone 21 miles today, but the view from here is beautiful and I'm hoping there's going to be an awesome sunset tonight. So I'm thinking that I'm going to stay here. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Look at that. It's day eight for me back on the PCT. I left camp a little after six and I've walked a little ways downhill uh, just trying to get away from camp so I don't disturb anybody. Um, campsite top of the hill last night was <laughs> very crowded. It was the same people I've camped with the last couple of nights. Um, but then a bunch more people turned up. Somebody camped pretty much right in the middle. Um, and then of course the people who uh, arrive late camp in the middle have an alarm that goes off at five o'clock in the morning and uh, they're still there so they've been at camp awake after their alarm went off for over an hour now and that really bothers me just because it's just so inconsiderate to other people left in the camp anyway <laughs> it is what it is Sunset last night was okay. Sunrise this morning is pretty cool. Just the orange glow coming up from behind the mountains. Um, today I'm planning on walking maybe 25 miles. Not 100% certain. Just gonna kind of walk until relatively late, six o'clock, seven o'clock, something like that, uh, to try and get a little bit closer to Stahican so that tomorrow is not a big day. Um, I haven't looked at the elevation profile for the day at all. I'm just going to walk and see what happens. before 12 o'clock um, and I'm having a really really good day today I'm totally in the zone I have walked uh, 28 kilometers uh, since I started this morning uh, I've had a couple of sit down breaks my feet my ankles everything's feeling really good and uh, yeah I'm about five kilometers from the top of a pretty big hill thousand meter climb um, and then from there, it's pretty much downhill uh, all the way to the road to Stahican, um, which is still a long way away. But I think I'll probably do a pretty big day today. And then tomorrow, um, try and catch one of the earlier buses into Stahican so that I can chill out for the afternoon, which will be really nice. Um, yeah. Absolutely motoring along today, uh, so that's really good.
10 to 5. Um, I have two and a half kilometers to go and I'll get to a place called Cedar Campsite um, and that'll be 50 k's for today or 31 miles. I'm feeling really good. It's still pretty early. I think I'll probably be at camp about half past five so it's pretty cool uh, and that will leave me tomorrow morning with uh, 15 k's about nine and a half miles um, to get to the ranger station to catch the bus into Stahegan. So I think I'll probably aim for the 12.30 bus. Um, it's been the afternoon in Stahegan, so that'll be really nice. This section of trail has been pretty rough. Uh, this was closed last year uh, due to fire damage. And I can understand why. Uh, the river crossing before was pretty sketchy and there's been a lot of dead burnt trees around um, but also a little bit overgrown as well so it's been a bit of a bush bash in some places but there have been lots of thimbleberries which I enjoy eating and so that balances it out a bit for me as well I'm hoping there won't be too many people at this campsite tonight but I think it's going to be pretty big uh, so there should be plenty of room to spread out, even if there is. Uh, the last three nights I've stayed with the same people. I've been pretty sociable, but I could quite happily just sit in my tent and read my book tonight. Um, don't really need to socialise again. <laughs> but I'll see what happens. There might be some interesting people there. Um, so, yeah. So it started raining. Um, I've closed the tent up for the rain and there's thunder and lightning going on and it's so close. Like, that last one felt like it was right on top of me. Freakily close. Um, not really raining at the moment though, just thundering and lightning. Oh, I hope it's not too heavy tonight. I hope I can get a dry walk into town tomorrow, but we'll just have to wait and see.